Good, good. I, uh, just been doing a couple lessons today. Woke up a little late. Decided to sleep in longer than I should have. <laughs> <laughs> that but, sounds uh, familiar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just been chilling today. One second, just uh, add you on the you. Uh, is there anything specific that you want to go over today? Uh, not entirely sure. I know I still have the issue of, like, rush down and like i get stuck in the corner but i've been getting somewhat better at that it's just still a little slow <laughs> exciting house yeah a little bit <laughs> <laughs> i've been there Okay, I sent it. Yep, I got you. I should have. Okay, cool. One second, and I'll make it. One second, sorry. Oh, we use kind of slow. I'm surprised my Wii U's not slower with how much stuff I've done to it. <laughs> uh, my my Wii U's been through hell, man. I've, I've traveled with this thing. <laughs> Yeah, I take mine, like, everywhere, pretty much. I, I can't... My thing's just, my Wii U's actually like, covered in, like, scratches and everything. It's beat up, man. It's rough. Alright, I... I believe I'm now, so are you ready? Let's start. Okay. And where are you from again? Uh, Middle Tennessee. Same region okay. as you guys. Yeah, okay, yeah. Because you just messaged me, he's like, oh, I see another team from Tennessee. I was like, who? <laughs> That's cool, I didn't know that. Yeah, he's like two hour and a half away in a region south of me. I lost my jump. Come <laughs> on. 
That's a wrap. Ah. That's okay. Okay, so third one? Yeah, it's, it depends on like if I do it at zero, it's kind of hard. You have to kind of see when you pop out, like higher, it's kind of the one where you want to jump. Because if you jump early, then you get hit out of your jump. And, uh, just can, uh, like, go to you think a lot more. So when you're trying to land, like when you're in disadvantage, I want you to prioritize not retaliating and like like or landing aggressively as like a primary choice. When you want to retaliate, it has to be like for a reason. Or like landing aggressively is a mix-up. Your goal is to get away from it. Sometimes it means you have to go to the ledge, or you want to make me chase you essentially. If I chase you up in the air and try to punish you when you're not in like hit stun anymore, you can just hit me back with like one of your one of your disjointed aerials, right? Right. Okay. And so that's the idea. Like when you're when you're into like you have to drift away. A lot of times, like you'll you'll di correctly and then you'll drift back towards me and then I'll hit you because you're closer. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. I was gonna say I was, I felt like I was diing the right way, but sometimes I feel like I get hit even though I di the direction yep, I, I feel I, like I'm supposed to. Well, that yep, makes sense. No. Mm -hmm. And that's like a really big thing. Is okay. you have to really think about like not only like once you've been hit it's like all right like i'm not gonna get comboed but i can i'm still in advantage and you're still in disadvantage does that make sense yeah so you want to make sure you're looking at me when you're in disadvantage it's good to like glance at yourself and be like all right like where am i all right cool like i died i'm alive like i didn't die and then look at me and be like what is he trying to do where is he in like relation to me if i'm too close like you can mix up even when you're in tumble like you can buffer like a fast like an air affair and like mix up stuff like that like if i jump into you because you have a big disjoint i can't shield if i'm in the air right right unless you want to try to play around does that make sense mm -hmm. Showtime! 
Yeah, there you go. That was good. I love that hitbox. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. When I'm when you hit me in the air, don't be afraid to just get underneath me instead of going like yeah, like that, yeah. And you can just like up air and air me forever. <laughs> okay. I didn't need to air dodge, I was trying to yeah. up B and then roll, not it did it too fast. Mario's dare is very good on shield. Yeah, so the thing is, if I like, it doesn't have a lot of lag, and then like you have to wait, so like if I go too far over you, like you can punish, but if, if I am like right in line with you, I can land with like an air, like a back air, like right after it. So you want to try punish that then instead of the down air, does that make sense? Yeah, I saw the down air hit my shield and I was waiting and then I got hit with a yeah, back air and I'm like, okay, yeah. can't do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't be afraid, like, if you're not sure how to punish something in a situation, try to punish the thing I do next. Does that make sense? Yeah. And that's a big thing that'll help you, is like, and, and that's gonna happen, like, even if it's like, oh, like, I didn't react to this, like, punish the next thing that I do if, I, if I'm, like, being over aggressive. Um, as well as, like, when I'm landing, like, try not to do something like laggy, like, uh, like an F smash, like a pin, when I'm in the air still. Don't be afraid to just like shield. A lot of my aerials aren't really safe. Only like landing back air is, is like actually safe on the You can grab everything else. Okay. As well as just making something whiff as well. Like you can move out of the way and then like up tilt or like retreating in air or something like that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. Uh. Yeah, I still see that one like if I like the top of it, that's when you can jump down. Or like before you can jump down the at the end of the front. Did you ever go shopping? Ugh. Uh, I don't think so. Okay, let's go. So I'm just gonna go call him and say, like, the When you're ledge trapping someone, you don't really want to try to, like, guess or, like, really look too deep into, like, what I'm trying to do. Instead, 
the best thing to do is one is just like you go around roll distance and you pressure with the fact that you can just pin somebody off the ledge and then you react because if the idea is that once they're around invincibility you can just pin and that comes out like right. frame six or like frame eight when you're i on the ground. think it's six. i think it's eight Six I think eight? six is in the air. Yeah, six is aerial, eight is because it's the hop and then the hitbox. Right, okay, that yeah. sounds right. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that's what it is, but that's quick. That's unreactable, basically. So they have to get up at a certain point. Does that make sense? Yeah. So here, I'll like, so you can like visualize the concept and then just show you real quick. Okay. I'm looking at the Kirogana Hammer uh, app, and it says Dragon Lunge is frame 10. 10? I don't remember. Out Actually, of I have to ask you. I have to ask you. Alright, yeah, so, okay, so go grab the ledge. Okay. So if you're, if, if you're sitting there, right, you have to get up, right? Okay. Like, yes. Yeah, right? So what, what, what happens is that you have to choose a get up option. So you either have to, like, drop and do something, which I can stuff out with pin still, or I can like nair or something like that, right? So when I'm standing like around here, um, if you jump, like I can stuff out jump with bear, nair, or even pin if you're really fast, or like I can up air you up when you're like higher up. Um, and then if you neutral get up or get up tag, I can either shield and then like do something, or I can like down tilt you, or pin again. And then if you roll, I can turn around and I can either like grab you, and you like get up, or I can turn around down tilt, or I can turn around and pin. So you, you, the idea is that you have this big coverage window, where your opponent has to do something, you don't have to guess. You just have to know this is how long they have to get up, and then be and then brace yourself. Um, if you're able to, I would get the um, training mode mod pack. I do and, actually have it. Yep, and just grind that. And just put them on the ledge, and, and then just keep messing there. with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can get used to it and, and see that, and then like, start to practice on your so You don't have to like jump around like throw an aerial or like do anything. You have to be in like a funky spot. You can just literally sit here. And certain characters you can stand closer, and certain characters you want to stand further. So like for example, because their get up attack reaches different distances yeah, yeah. and stuff. Their get up attack or like their aggressive get up. So like for example, right. like sheep, like forward air, you can you want to stand like a little further away. Same with like bouncing fish. But like Bayo side B, like you want to stand further away so you can punish it, right? Um, let's see what else. Um, But that's that's essentially like the basic idea. Or even like Fox, like if they dare forward air from ledge, like you want to be further away so that you can then stuff it out. And like that's essentially the idea. Is like you're at safe distance, but because of Thorn's pin, you're able to stand this far away and then just make them get off ledge because they have to get up. If they sit there for too long, you get a free pin. And that can either take a stock or again reset the entire situation. They recover and then you just do it again. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. I feel like I'm. S I played Ness before, so I feel like the way I try to ledge trap is not. It like kind of carries to Corin, but I just need a different way to do it. It's yeah. like just standing far away. I'm used to being closer to the ledge when I do it.
parodies to get away from you. Torn is a character that traps landing so strong, even against like, himself, that you just have to get away from him and not like, um, try to fight back. Because that's what Torn punishes when people try to fight back. Use that shield. If I'm landing aggressively, shield what I'm gonna do. Punish it, or at least not get hit for the time of the challenge. I see that, I like the way I'm pressuring you, and then I'm reacting to the way you get a few. Yeah, waited too long. Yeah. And that, that's the idea, that's the concept of it. Just wait for me. It's, it's funny, the last session I did with um, Ezal was all about how to get off the ledge, and now it's like how to cover the ledge, it's just the opposite side of it. Mm -hmm. No, that's a really big thing, and that, that's, that's really important. I actually just did a lesson with him like two hours ago. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He gets he gets co uh, co coaching for me every once in a while, which is cool. And he's gonna be uploading the lessons. He's gonna be uploading what? Uh, he's gonna be uploading our lesson. Oh okay. Yeah, he's In a little while, Sarah. Thank you. That is not what I wanted. I was trying to That's a wrap. F tilt or dash forward, F tilt. A really good punish at a shield, and this is gonna be weird because there's no other character has anything like this, is you can just drop your shield and pin. <laughs> um, it's really, really good. So like if you see like you can't reach me with like a grab, right? Then just um, let go of shield and pin. Yeah, just let go of shield and insta pin. And that's actually a really good punish. It's like when you drop shield down tilt, it's the same idea. Does that make sense? Yeah. But it's just for when people are a little further away. Okay. Like right there, really that probably would have reached. Yep, yep, yeah, so for example, like, if I do, like, space nair, like, it's corn, right? It's not safe on your shield, but you can't grab me because I'm too far from you. But what you can do is drop your shield, like, right as it hits your shield, and then just get hit, and it'll hit me right away. It's just like with, uh, cloud snare, you can do the same thing. Or, like, uh, cloud forward or something, you can do that too, where it's not safe on shield, but you can drop shield and just Yeah, you have to... I thought for 
forward air is safe, like, if you perfectly space it, I think. It's not actually, like, um, you know what I mean by, like, safe on shield, where it's, like, you know, in corn, like, back. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, okay. You can't do anything. It's, it's not like that. It's just, if the way it spaces, it, it creates, like, a pseudo type of card. So it's, like, kind of safe, depending on the character, because some people can punish it. Yeah, yeah, that's the big thing. So, like, there's certain matches where, like, against Mario, it's really good. Yeah, uh, if you space it, right? Because he can't punish you at all, unless you, like, perfect shield for it. So, yeah, that's, like, the really big thing. So you can take advantage of stuff like that. Or even, like, you can fight players. Some players won't punish it unless they get to acknowledge. Like, uh, backwards pin, or kick backwards after pin. Yeah, yeah, certain characters can't punish that, and that's, like, a big thing. Okay, well, you can keep drifting into my space when I'm coming ledge. Be a little more creative with how you recover from that damage. It's like, which way it's on? It's like... Do you have a land adapter? Uh, yeah. Okay, Nintendo servers are weird, so... If, if it doesn't work again, I have an idea. I was gonna say, I oh, definitely on. plugged in my ethernet cable from the PlayStation to the... Wii U. You have it set in your settings. Oh, to the land down here though, right? Oh yeah. Okay, good. I, I can't see how many times I've, I've had people be like, wait, you have to do that? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I have it plugged uh, yeah. in, why isn't it working? Uh, maybe yeah, no, uh, tweet need to that. change the setting. <laughs> tweet? <laughs> yeah, he, for like one whole year, he had no idea that he had to change the settings. So he used to be like, God, like, why do I always like randomly start lagging? And it's just like, oh my, my god. Oh. <laughs> 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 I met him at DreamHack Atlanta. I, I felt bad because he walked by and I was like, good shit today, Tweak. And he looked at me like I startled him. I'm like, I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. No. <laughs> he's, he, at tournaments, he doesn't talk to a lot of people. So, like, when people like, get attention, he's like, oh, shit. Because he's, like, in, like, his, like, in, like He's in the zone. Yeah. So, it's like, he gets snapped out of it. And he's like, oh, shit. Like, just, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I scare him all the time. That's funny. Careful. Don't rush preemptively. Try not to land with down air. You want to use an air. It's a frame six. It's a combo breaker. It's a combo starter. It does everything. Okay. Like, don't be afraid to just like if I'm like uh, like jumping into you, like you can just nair. It hits all, all everywhere. It has two hits. Yeah. Yeah, so like that in there, you could have just grabbed that. I actually was trying to grab it, it rolled. <laughs> That's okay. Do you play tilt sticks? Yeah, I do. Uh, here's a little trick for you. So hold shield and hit your C stick. Oh. Grab. So you can do that, okay? That seems better than trying to click the yeah. other button. And that'll uh, that'll keep you from like buffering like the throw you want to do, where normally when you hit like A and you try to like hit the direction, where you'll end up. Really Careful, see? Like you gotta, you gotta be more creative. Yeah. There you go. That was better. You like missed yourself off the best. Good. I had to break my habit of count using Corrin's counters, so... <laughs> no, that's good. At that low percent, you don't want to go for up air. You want to go for forward air. Okay. Do forward air, or just like wait to see if I air dodge? You see, like, your back air is really slow. You don't want to use that to try to break out of a uh, frame track. Which way did you DI? That's that? a wrap. Uh, I was DIing down right. Okay. So when you're at like average percents, you can do down and like down into the right or like down to the left. But when you're gonna die, DI yeah, straight down. Okay. Okay. It's really weird, but that's actually like the correct way to do it. <laughs> it's 
Speaking of dream hacking corn, there was a god. A, say, uh, Cosmo said he'd play a few games when I tweeted at him, and I was like freaking out about it. And I didn't realize he was literally right behind me, and I was just like, I am such a dumbass. Oh my god. <laughs> That's funny. I was just like, ah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know. You can meet a lot of people turn into and it's, it's really simple. And uh, everyone's usually really cool. So it's, it's awesome. Yeah, we don't have many big ones out here, so I've only gotten to go to yeah. two majors. Mm-hmm. It's an investment. <laughs> yeah. No, you gotta drift away. You have to respect it. Have to expect it coming. Hey, you want to not just like assume what is gonna happen, but understand what can happen. Does that make sense? Yeah. So it's like when you're in a situation where you're like, you're kind of like, yeah, so like you want to see like where you drifted away there, you made it so like I had to commit way harder to get you rather than you coming to me. If you see um, a pin hit, like try to hit you, uh, just shield. And like keep the shield rather than trying to like buff up or anything like that. It's like there, you could have dropped the skill from the It's like, see there, because you tried to jump and challenge him, my never did beat it because it was out. Oh, exactly right. Was. And so there, you could have just shielded him. So. And another shield. Okay, keep holding away from me. <laughs> oh. Don't be afraid to just up B and go to the ledge. You don't have to like, go to the B snap. Like, you can just up B. Like, I can't really stop it. Okay, it's okay. It's one of those things once in a while. That's happen. a wrap! I thought it was done, so I forward tilted. Yeah. Survival! That was a like the worst fair.
Oh, I thought that was a good kill. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure. Oh. There you go, that was good. So you mix yourself up there. No, that's yeah, a game. When I play, it's like I sort of just look in the middle of what's happening. It's like I don't really focus on like one or the other character. You gotta go back and forth, that's what you gotta do. Yeah. I used to only look at my character and then I just like started yeah. staring only at the middle. So. It's like, fix one mistake, make another. Yep. Right through charge shot and bite. Yeah. Survival. I feel like I don't want to mess with Cloud. I feel like I should just focus on Horn right now. 
Go for it. Yeah. If you if you enjoy playing corn and you want to get better with it, prioritize it. Focus on it. And you can go back later and learn another character. The most important thing is growing as a player. When you're trying to like learn concepts with your characters, like when you're really complicated. Even just the slight differences and stuff like that can form bad habits. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! You just want to hit the PK from there, okay? Yeah. Or you jump and like hit it with like a fair or like a nair, like do it straight up, yeah. I am not being, or I am not used to being on the opposite end of anything that's related. <laughs> that's okay. Survival! So what's better to hit the thunder with, though? Like, up air, nair, uh, fair? Up air and fair are usually the best ones. Nair can sometimes trade, because, like, depending on how close you hit it, and, like, the box, but fair and up air are really good at beating it. Would the Dragon Lance side arm of nair be the one that trades? I don't know, honestly. <laughs> I was gonna it's say. It's very weird. It depends on, it just depends on how close it is. Sometimes it'll, like, slip. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Careful, you have to make sure you react when I, I whiff, like right in front of you, so you can punish me for something that you're struggling with. Yeah. yeah, like right there, like you gotta react to that. Get underneath the walk to the side and then apply like no pressure to my point. I was trying really to fall through game. and up there. I could have countered that. Yeah, just far enough, yeah. And then keep in mind, when you get hit, like, the, anytime you've been hit by hitbox, there's 60 frames before you can grab Ledge again. That's one whole second. Okay, right. That's like if you get hit and, like, you buffer up and then you're like, why did I not grab Ledge? That's why that happened. Right. I had forgotten that was a thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
I thought you were gonna instant up air. Dang it. Waited too long. Mm-hmm. Uh, a really big thing that hurts you is when you press button sequences. It's basically the best way to describe it. Um, like, after I do a move, like, I, al I always do, do the color. same one? No, 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 so for example, you'll do... You'll try to, like, trap my landing with, like, a, an up air. And then, so you'll, like, you'll up air, land on the platform, land on the ground, and then, like, automatically, like, buffer it down so it'll buffer neutral be like, every single time. Or like jab, you always do like something right after that. What you have to do is you have to play every interaction one step at a time. You can't skip steps. You have to see if something works, something doesn't, and then like keep watching me. You're thinking too hard about the buttons you're pressing instead of actually seeing what's happening around you. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
super armor. Using, yeah, you have to be using moves to cover space. You have to use a move with the purpose of hitting me or like pressuring my shield and something. Instead, so you're just throwing out like to, try to prevent hit. people from coming in. Yeah, that's yeah, something that's I know fun. I do a lot. Yeah, I'm just narrowing in, in expectation of something without a real purpose. I thought I could jump back in there and it would reach, but that doesn't work. Okay. I know that's been one thing I've had struggles with for forever and forever and ever, amen, is purpose behind why I'm clicking a button. Yeah, what you want to think about is applying what's called positional pressure instead of just throwing moves out. Positional pressure is literally pressure with your existence, and that's the possibility of a move. Remember I said, like, understanding what can happen rather right. than trying to get the time. It's the same thing that you're going to do that to other people. When you're standing at, like, that mid-range, you don't have to commit. You don't have to do something first. It doesn't matter. Shen doesn't matter. You can just die. <laughs> like, uh, there's yeah. anything in this game. And, and that's a big thing. If the game's very explosive, there's lots of comeback potential. Like, it does. Knockback growth exists. Rage exists. Your character abuses it like crazy. You don't have to be the one to commit in this situation constantly. You don't have to um, be scared of, of having to keep fighting as well, regardless. Uh, a really big thing to keep in mind is just like. You want to apply the pressure of, to, to your opponent. Don't be the one taking on. Be like, all right, cool. Like I'm back on the ground. Awesome. Like now I can do whatever I want again. And like, that's when you can just pressure with them with the possibility of being pinned or grabbed. Like that's it. Okay. Like a really basic level. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. You break them. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. Yeah. <laughs> I've always done the one two three, so I never thought about it. I haven't actually been yeah. spiked by that before. Like it's ever. Okay. It's really hard. I to get the trade too, it's really hard for me. So it's not gonna happen very often. Because you have to hit directly on her head. Yeah, I have to hit on your head. Um unless I hit your startup, but I trade with it. So um there's that. And then I have to hit like the one three so just spike on it. And we thought Marcina's dare was bad. At least that move works. There you go. There you go. I'm afraid just shield too. If you're not sure if anyone's gonna reach you, you can shield. Yeah, and punish me. Don't be afraid to hit people who are jumping from that way. That's what you're scared to slow down. Careful. Keep, I want to just keep trying to fight you. Oh, well, twice today. <laughs>
I did better at just stopping and more looking, and then I just got hit. I feel so like the biggest, yeah. Mm -hmm. So the next step of what you have to look for is first ranges from your opponent, understanding that like at this range, my opponent can just do something really fast, and I probably can't react. So that's like Fox's dash attack, or like Meta Knight's dash attack, or Falcon's dash attack. Like it's really hard to react to that kind of stuff. And so like that same thing with Pit's dash attack, right? Same idea. Yeah. So you have to learn that and be like, all right, I'm in this range. And so the thing you want to learn is like the different ranges to comfortably play different matchups. So like for example, in this matchup, you want to stay in what's like mid-range to close range. So we're going to finish up this rock and play this game and kind of show you the ranges. Okay. okay. So there's, there's these are just looking down here. So we have boxing, which is when you're like right on top zone, you can like jab. Then we have like close range, where it's like dash grabs work really well, or like sometimes even like certain jabs or like tilt or reach, or like your pin is like close range, right? Yeah. Then we have mid range, which is like to reach, one of us has to like commit to like really be able to get to each other. And then there's like long range, and this is where like projectiles and like characters are like running away from you and stuff like that or like when you like reset, reset sometimes it'll be a long range so against like pit you want to be like mid-range a lot right so that's like this far like the battlefield circle right that's like, kind of like mid-range yeah like this this is okay. like mid-range like commit to really get to each other it's like kind of around like this space so we want to go from like close range to to mid-range essentially and like that's where you comfortably want to be because you don't want to be right on top of him because he has pretty good frame data as a like dash match and then like his grab is really good too and then, when you're in mid-range, you want to be confident in reacting, essentially. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's what you want to prioritize playing reactive. Okay. Yeah, that's one thing I think I need to work on. I don't know how good my reaction time even is, but I should probably, so, like, to increase your reaction, reaction, you want to get what's called situational awareness. Um, what that literally is, is um, understanding what can happen in a situation and making that easier to, to like, React to. So, like, for example, like, when you nair someone, it's pretty easy to react to their DI, right? Yeah. Because you know that they have to DI in some way in that situation. That's why it's easier to react. Does that make sense? Yeah. And that's literally the idea. Okay. okay. And that can be applied in any situation where you're sitting there and it's just like... Um... My brain. <laughs> that's basically the idea you want to go for. It's like getting experience in the game and understanding the different outcomes in a situation makes it easier to react that's that's what i'm trying to say i like my brain yeah. like short circuited right there <laughs> i was gonna say i haven't been competing like, like but maybe two years now so a lot of it yeah. i feel like i'll get better at as time goes yeah. on exactly yeah that's a big thing that'll help you um okay so do you have any questions to finish up uh not necessarily okay cool if you ever have any questions you can um just bust me a dm uh, basically whatever, and, uh, did you pay for this lesson? Yes, I did. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, I was uh, gonna say, I prepaid a while back, like, before DreamHack, but then college yeah, started. Yep, 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 I remember now. Okay, that's totally fine. Alright, if you have any questions, you want to schedule another lesson, um, or you want to get a right up, just give me a heads up, alright? Alright, cool. Alright, peace out, man, have a good day. You too, see ya. Well... I got bodied. <laughs>